This is lesson one in our Power Accuracy Speed series for members only of World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher, and let's get started with power. So power is related to accuracy. So this is a little bit of a ecosystem of, of techniques. These things, power, accuracy, and speed are interrelated, but there are some things that we can do to work on each of them but each of them will support the others as well. So you probably know that, but I just want to make that clear before we get into it because we will be coming back to some of these concepts in the other lessons. But when we talk about power, we really want to talk about efficiency of movement. And that does relate to technique, but it also relates to strength building. So we're going to focus more on strength building in this particular session because when we get to accuracy, then we'll talk about technique. And of course, that also relates to speed. So we're going to be moving from power to speed through accuracy. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to take you guys through what I would do as a routine if I want to focus on developing power. And we're talking about muscle. So we're going to look at this from kind of an exercise, a physical exercise perspective rather than more of a musical or intellectual perspective. Okay, so let's, let's begin. So what I would recommend you do for your power con conditioning is one, warm up. So this is going to be in three parts. The first part is warm up, um, and that means stretch. So we're going to take a little bit of time to do basic drumming warm-up stretches. Now, I have done a video on I think it's called the drummer's warm-up, where we did a lot of these, but I'm going to review them. And these don't have to be super specific. Right now, I'm just doing gentle wrist stretches, stretching the muscles here. You always want to go slowly and gently when you're talking about, you know, moving your wrist past about 45 degrees, even 30 degrees. Your wrist doesn't, you don't really want to move it too much, maybe like there, you know, not, you're not ever going way up. But for stretching purposes, we want to increase our range of motion. And stretching, as part of your warm-up um, or pre-warm-up routine, uh, starts to get circulation, starts to warm up your muscles a little bit before you actually start doing things that are impactful. Okay, so any kind of massage, you can do, I like to do this with my fingers and then just basic massaging my hands, especially as you get older or if it's cold, uh, you really want to take some time. Me personally, I have a little bit of, I think it's arthritis in this little knuckle on my little finger and that will flare up a little bit if I don't take time to stretch and do a little bit of warming up before I play. And that's just something I happen to know about myself. You might have similar issues. If you don't, let's keep it that way. So anything you want to do, you know, individual finger massage, uh, stretching, there's all kinds of different stretches. You can do this one where you do like a namaste or prayer pose and then just go back and forth like this. That's a good one. And then we can do some basic wrist warm-ups like this. Make circles. I would hold my arms straight out, but I think my Hands will be a little out of focus, that's okay. So you can do these kinds of things, up and down, side to side, a little bit, circles. So warm up, I'm hearing some, a little bit of crunching coming from my wrist. So that's okay, so just move until you feel a little bit of warmth and a little bit of, you know, feeling of blood circulation into your muscles. All right, so that's number one. This was really short. You could do this longer. Let's move on to part number two, which we're going to call the warm-up. And this can be done um, away from the drum. Uh, it could be done on the drum, but you can do both parts one and two of this. Um, actually, almost all three parts of this, uh, either on your drum or away from your drum. So that's good news because you can do this anywhere. Uh, in the morning, in the evening, do it in on your bed, or, you know, or on the table. You don't need to be in your drum with your studio, or in your studio with your drum 
to do this. All right, so we're going to do some basic um, exercises that are geared at increasing our muscle movement and just increasing muscle mass. These are just like exercises. All right, so, you know, one thing you can do in the air actually is just do this, like air drumming. And it doesn't seem like much, but actually if you do this for a timed amount of time, like say a minute, you really start to feel it. So you can do that on your own. Um, one thing I like to do is start to do the hand fingers. You can do it this way. So we could do this individually or together, parallel. You can do it alternating. Here's another variation. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to, my hands are going to be below the screen a little bit. But this is intense. So if you get on a drum, you can be a djembe, conga, whatever, it doesn't matter, or a table. And you're going to drum on the outside of, you're going to put your forearms on the head and drum on the shell. I know this looks a little bit ridiculous, but if you do this, do it like interval training. Say you do that 30 seconds on and then rest for 10 seconds and then 30 seconds on and rest for 10 seconds. Um, you're going to really feel that up in your forearms. This is going to start to build uh, quick muscle movements, but also strength. Now you can do things like get, you know, squeeze balls or whatever exercise equipment. I don't think that's a bad idea. You can also get a dowel, like a broom handle or anything that's round. And you can actually, and I got this from a, a Pendero player. And he actually would put a cord on a dowel and put a weight on it and roll it up and sit there and roll it like this and raise the weight up and then let it back down and raise it up and lower it back down. I haven't been doing that myself personally, but you know, if you feel like you really want to build up your strength, forearms, fingers, that's amazing. That would be an amazing thing to do. Roll it up, lower it down. Okay, so those are a few strength building. Anything else that you want to do for fingers, you know, um, wrists, and from the elbow arm movements, All right? So even just... You know, one of my teachers, Alex Acuna, said a lot of bongo players are actually boxers, and it's that, like, speed bag workout. So you can do everything from that kind of speed bag motion. He said that that really increases your endurance. Um, obviously, you're doing things that are done within a movement. So it's not just, like, lifting weights. It's moving and having resistance, but doing movements so that you're not just adding bulk that could slow you down later. All right, let's move on to the third part. And this was where we get more into what is applicable to specifically to the drum, which is working on our percussive stroke. And I've talked a little bit about this in other videos, but I really want to focus on it here and now with you all. So we've talked about stretching and we've talked about warm up strength building, right? And those kind of blend together. So you can go from stretching to warming up strength building experiences. Uh, both on and away from the drum. Now we're going to talk about really one of the keys to getting more power in your playing, which is a fluid, I just call it the percussive stroke. Instead of, it's, you know, instead of a, uh, just a hammering action, which is kind of rigid, the percussive stroke, and this is just my opinion and teaching, is a, uh, a leveraging, it's almost like a whip action in that you're moving from your elbow or even your shoulder and, and you could even argue that this really starts from the back from your back you're kind of you know incorporating your whole body but let's just start from the shoulder and the elbow you're you're moving in such a way that originates kind of and and this is subtle originates more in the elbow and then the wrist is going to lead and then the fingers follow and i say that because i see sometimes people just hitting the drum in a kind of rigid way 
instead of So the percussive stroke is a fluid stroke. It's got some of the characteristics that you might expect to see in a whip or a rope or even a, a longer piece of wood, that like a dowel. It's got flexibility. It's not rigid. And that is where your power is going to come from. So um, it's almost like, you know, yeah, whipping, whipping something like those things that you, where you throw a tennis ball with a little handle and it kind of whips out and you're able to get a lot more power. All right, so I'm gonna slow this down and just show you what I mean. It's just raising up, elbow, wrist, then fingers. Now, you don't have to exaggerate this. I'm not talking about going like that where it's really floppy, but I'm, I am exaggerating a little bit right now to show you. Now, obviously when I play, you know, it's gonna be more subtle, but it's there, and this is what you need to develop if you wanna develop power on the drums. This is gonna help you incorporate your fluid movements, your strength, um, but keep it relaxed. Because when we talk about speed later on, and like I said, these are all related, so when we talk about speed, we're talking about having to stay relaxed. So this will help you with that later on. So for now, I want you to practice your percussive stroke. You can do this with uh, just your hand on a hand drum. You can do it with a stick, right? So if, if I had a stick, I'd be holding the stick. The action is pretty much the same. What you want to see is wrist leading. You want to see this and you might want to videotape yourself or video yourself. We don't videotape ourselves anymore. I guess we video chip ourselves. But you want to see um, your wrist leading, your fingers following. Okay, so either use a mirror, check yourself live, or video yourself playing from you know the side angle. And you, of course, you want to practice this on both sides, whatever drum you're using, however it's appropriate. But try to Work on your percussive stroke, all right? So just to recap, this is about power. So we have developing um, muscle in speed and through exercises. We talked about war um, stretching as part of the warm-up and then playing warm-up exercises. So literally taking your hands and, and forearms to the gym, doing whatever you can, different exercises, tapping on the side of the drum, you know, doing off drum exercises with tools, uh, playing on the drum in a way that's going to help develop some hand, wrist, forearm, you know, strength. And then we're going to be applying that strength in a fluid way using the percussive stroke, which is that movement that allows for a little bit of fluidity and almost like a whipping action, a very natural action. Okay, so this is all about power. You guys do this, have a routine. You might want to use a timer, like an interval timer uh, that they use in training. You know, make sure that your exercises are measurable. So you say, okay, I'm going to do this for five minutes and you can, you can plan out a warm up and exercises and how long you're going to practice your percussive stroke. We talked about observing yourself in the mirror or video, videoing uh, yourself to, to make sure that you're doing what you think you're doing. And if you're not doing what you think you want to do, then you make the changes that are necessary until you dial that in, all right? This is all going to help you develop power, uh, but it's going to be fluid power, not, not stiff power on your instrument, okay? If you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up. Uh, but we're inside Patreon right now, so the most important thing is that you're getting what you need. And if you have any questions about this, just leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to respond in a timely manner. All right? So when you're ready, when you've done some of this, then uh, move on to the next lesson. We're going to focus on accuracy.